FSG need to act now to get this season saved and they need to act now so we can get signings in during January. Before I go any further with that topic, I just want to give a little statement out to those fans out there that are calling for Jurgen Klopp's head. Give your head a shake. There is no other manager out there that would have been able to achieve or could possibly achieve what Jurgen Klopp already has and possibly will do with the limited resources he has been given by FSG. There's a few examples out there of players that Jurgen Klopp wanted but could not get because of FSG and their so-called living within your means, working within your means mentality that they've had since they took over the club. I've got one player here, Doniel Marlin. Before he went to go join Dortmund, he wanted to come to Liverpool. He, we were basically told it would take 23, 25 million to sign him. Jurgen Klopp wanted the player. Klopp was told you have to move out Origi and Shakiri before you can go sign him. Lo and behold, waited too long, Marlin went to Dortmund. Next up, Werner. I know, I know, you're all going to turn around and say, don't want him anyway, he was crap at Chelsea. But a player can be a different player at a different club in a different system under a different manager. Jurgen Klopp wanted this player for months and months and months. He wouldn't go looking for him if that player was crap now, would he? He hasn't signed a crap player apart from Naby Keita and, you know, Carriers. But yet again, Covid struck and Liverpool wanted to pay the release clause for Werner in instalments, which they ended up doing for Jota. But Leipzig were like, nah, you pay it all up front. Klopp had to personally call Werner and tell him that he wanted him, but he just didn't have the money to be able to do it. What is all that about? This is Liverpool. This is not some lower down the league side. This is Liverpool we're talking about and we didn't have the money to give to the manager to buy a player that he wanted. So now I'm going on to go on to what they should do now, right this second, right now. Our season is on the edge of becoming a disaster. We're currently sat in 10th. The team that we defeated 9-0 is above us in the league. We can all see what is going wrong with the team. Jürgen is at fault for some of this as well. I will say that. Jürgen is stubborn. He has only just started playing with a different formation, which we've all kind of thought we should have been doing anyway to help because teams have got used to playing against us and blah, 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 blah. But he's only just started doing that. Also, Jürgen, Jürgen is loyal to certain players that he shouldn't be. You know, we've got players like, you know, James Milner. Yeah, he's a good role model to the younger ones, but he should be nowhere near the starting eleven. Jordan Henderson has fallen off a cliff this season. We've done, we did so well last year. We played every single game, but he's gone. Trent needs a break from the team. That guy, I would keep him around and, you know, play him at right back, maybe move him at centre midfield, but he's a right back for us. But right this second, right this moment in time, he needs a break. And I think Jürgen was trying to get him to play into form. But he needs a break. Now he's injured, he's going to get that break. And all being well, Joe Gomez will stay fit. And will perform really well at right back. So then Trent's got to earn his position back, not just be given it. There's other players out there as well, like in the summer, where Jürgen was, we were all saying, oh, we need another midfielder. And Jürgen's saying, I've got enough. Jürgen's counting on like Naby Keita, Oxlade Chamberlain, Curtis Jones to stay fit. You can't include players that are continuously injured in the numbers of like the midfield that you've got to choose from because they're never fit for you to be able to pick them. So right this second, right now, FSG need to get their money out of their pocket and start thinking about who we're going to sign in January. And no, I aren't talking about Jude Bellingham because right this second, right now, I don't think we've got a cat in hell's chance of signing Bellingham. If we do not make top four, you can kiss Bellingham, Bellingham goodbye. He won't be joining Liverpool. So I'm looking, I've got three names right now of players that Liverpool could potentially sign in January. Their contracts are running out, so they should be on the cheap. Two of them have got Premier League experience, so shouldn't need that much bedding in time. 
And these players are Yuri Tielemans at Leicester, Douglas Luiz at Aston Villa, and Conrad, Conrad Lehmer at RB Leipzig. These are the three players we should be looking at getting in January. Lehmer might be already going to Bayern Munich, who knows. Luiz and Tielemans, we've been known to have interest in these players. Especially Tielemans, about a year ago we were very, very much interested in him, but nothing happened over the summer. And Douglas Luiz was a player that we were linked with towards the back end of the summer, much like we were like Arthur Mello, and he was probably going to be like a panic buy. But still, we were linked to him, and he does have a bit of something about him, and I'll probably, to be fair, he's a young player, and I'm mainly looking at the age right now of the midfield. Like the lack of investment in our team, we have gone from having like the second, third youngest team in the league to having the second eldest team in the league. That's due to the lack of investment from FSG. And as a Liverpool fan, I'm getting sick to death of it. There's like one example I've wrote down here is the year we won the Champions League. That summer, we went out and bought Sepp Vandenberg for one million and Adrian on a free transfer. That was our deals that summer. That was what we did that summer. And then in the January of that of that season, we got Taki in for seven and a half million. This is the investment that we've not had from FSG and they really need to start changing. Otherwise, you, we can kiss everything goodbye, guys. Like, honestly, Bellingham won't be coming. Some certain players that we've got in the squad now, you know, like Salah, Van Dijk, Alisson, Fabinho, like all these big players that we've got might start looking to go elsewhere. Why are they going to want to stay around and play for Liverpool and struggle to win anything when they've got no investment coming in to help them? FSG really need to sort this out. They've got till ja end of January for me. And then if nothing happens in January, then I just, I'm done with them. I really am done with them. I've never been one that's really liked FSG anyway, but, you know, when times are good, times are good and, you know... As I just said then, we won the Champions League and we had no investment. Like Teams always invest when they're on top. Look at Ferguson when he was in charge of Man United. They were winning everything left, right and centre and he was constantly tweaking little bits of his team here, there and everywhere. He knew to get players out just before they like went past their peak and he got somebody in to replace them. I think Jurgen Klopp would like to do that, but he just doesn't have the money or the funds. And um, yeah... That's me done, guys, on my little rant for FSG right now. Let me know your thoughts down below. Is there anyone out there you think we could sign realistically that's going to be a three transfer or, you know, damn near cheap? Put a comment down below, guys. Let me know. Like the video if you've enjoyed it. And if you've not already, subscribe to the channel. And I'll catch you in the next one.